Hey guys, random. Hey guys, random man. Five 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 six here with you with a for an airsoft review today. We will be talking about the tactical tactical force combat um, pistol. It it's basically a replica of a Glock 18 or Glock 17 or just Glock for this matter. But it's a pretty cool gun. It's a blowback. So those of you who like prefer blowbacks out there this is probably one of the best guns on the market out there for you well I mean it's not too is I mean it's not perfect but I mean it's not um, it's this it's discontinued let me put it that way because they don't make it anymore so you very rarely find this I was gonna get it on airsoftstation.com but they ran out so I had to go to hitguns.com they didn't have it and then I finally went to this one website where they had one left and this was it one they said they weren't gonna get any more orders so this is the only time I could have gotten it they also have a, a different color of it uh, instead of having a black so slide there's a blue slide it's the same thing but with a blue slide and it's it's a good gun. It's 375 feet per second with a .20 gram bullet, or .20 gram bullet. Uh, with .12s, I'm pretty sure it's about 390, something like that. But, but the .12s, they curve up, they have a hop up on them, so .20s, they don't quite have a hop up on them. And if there is a... Uh, certain gram BB in between the point twelves and twenties. I'd recommend getting it because that's probably your best uh, option because it would go straighter. With point twenties, it starts curving a little bit down towards your hit toward uh, your target, but it only for some reason does that towards your target. I'm not sure. Like earlier today, I was shooting mailboxes with it, <laughs> and uh, every time I got close to the mailbox, it started curving down. And then I was shooting from a farther distance of mailboxes, and it did the same thing, but at the same closeness of the mailbox. Like, say the mailbox thingy, the mailbox metal was right here. The bullet always curved down at the same place at the mailbox. I don't, I don't know why it does that. Maybe it's just the wind or. I don't know, but it goes pretty far. Um, it's 375 FPS, I think I already told you that, but it goes about 120 with a half side, or with um, half of your gas in it. It's a, oh, also, I forgot to tell y'all something. It's a CO2 canister gas, the 12 grams. It uses these. You put you, um to put them in. It goes in the grip, which I thought was pretty cool. You press a button that's right here. I don't know if you can see it, but you press it. You put it in like that, and then you close it and screw it in right here. But the bad part about it is it it um. This is the only part on it that's not that good. The screwy part, it just it broke mine. My br mine broke. Uh, I'm gonna show you what it used to look like before it broke. I'm getting a different gun, so don't think this is like the same gun, just different color. It used to have one of these little black things on it. Then it broke, and I've tried unscrewing this one and putting it on there one it won't unscrew and two this one's I think a big a bit bigger and I'm not gonna be talking about this gun this is a piece of crap okay you can these are like the most common airsoft guns in the markets don't even just crap don't even just put anything in the comments about it not this the other one but back to this one uh, the grip is your it's a high quality or grip, except it's not, uh, it's like a strong ABS plastic. You have your middle finger grip part right here, your 
ring finger one next and then your pinky one next you put your index finger on there and then it has a thumb grip on this side and this side so it's good for left or right handers I shoot left handers don't ask me why I just prefer it um the magazine is shaped a little weirdly instead of one of your regular uh, CO2 blowback magazines um, that don't have the gas in it instead of it looking like this it has a little bottom plate on it probably to cover up the uh, screwing mechanism back here Oops. stupid thing broke okay now it's all back in and trust me if yours does this just don't worry about it just put like a little piece of metal bend it a little to where it fits in and you can screw it in the same way as with the other plastic part before this is like a half metal half plastic gun most of it's made out of metal for the interiors yeah okay God, mom, really? My mom, whoa. And so, most of the gun is made out of metal. Like, the interior is mostly made out of metal. Half, most of the magazine's made out of metal. The only me uh, plastic part on the magazine is the bottom plate part. Um, the slide's made out of metal, the, let's see, the trigger, I think some of it's made out of metal. But if it's not made out of, oh, the, the slide button, or the magazine button is right here, it's made out of metal too. All you do is press it, and the magazine comes out like that. Um... Oh, optic sights. The sights. It has like optic sights, so I don't want to get shot. Um, the green optics are right here. The two green ones, and then there's a white one uh, that you put in between the green ones when you're aiming. And it's pretty cool. What optic sights? I like them. Um, let's see. Rail system. Has a good rail system, very nice design. You could put flashlight or lasers on them. I'd recommend getting those at Airsoft Station or HitGuns.com. Um, it's a double trigger slide. They say you have to pull both triggers to shoot it, but you don't even have to do that. So don't worry about that. It's just a regular trigger. Pretend that. It feels a little weird, but you'll get used to it after a while. And I said it was a blowback earlier, I'm pretty sure. Orange tip, standardized orange tip. You must have the orange tip on if you're going to play airsoft. If you don't have it on, just don't even bring it outside or wherever you're going with it. Because it's like illegal in most areas to have the orange t tip off. So you have to have this thing on. Um, you can, I mean, if you're making a video, you might, you can just tape it up with, like, black electrical tape. This is the slide, um, cap, or, uh, yeah, thingy, I guess. I don't know what it's called, so. Tell me in the comments if you know what it's called. But you just press that down and put the slide up. When the gun is shooting with a full CO2 12 gram canister, it you or 12 ounce or 12 gram or whatever can, uh, canister, it shoots about 150 feet, which is pretty good. I was shooting it earlier today on my street, and it was a really it was really good distance. With half full, it shoots about 120. And with none, or with, like, low in it, low gas in it, it shoots about, uh, 80 feet. 
And this is all feet, not yards, not meters, not kilometers, not miles, not light years. Um. Hmm. I think that's about it. Oh, oh, one more thing. When the slide gets captured by the little slide capturer thingy, I'm going to just call it that. Um, this little metal part right here is where you unscrew it to put your lubrication in it. So, if it's going down on FPS or you need more lubrication in it, just unscrew it and pop it open put lubrication in it or something. Um, let's see. This also, the, this is the last thing I'm going to talk about before I go today. This little green part, or this little part inside here, is what makes the blowback happen. You have to have the CO2 to have um, the blowback to work, but the blowback is absolutely nothing. It's just for show. It doesn't make the gun shoot farther, doesn't make the gun shoot better. It, it just uses more CO2. So if it didn't have uh, the blow, if you took this out, my guess is it would go a little farther and a little faster. But I think it looks cooler with the blowback. And uh, I think that's just about it. Um, signing out.